What's up, guys? I hope you're all doing great. Today is the start of another beautiful week. If we look over at CoinMarketCap.com, we can all see that we've had quite a nice pump over the weekend. The price of XRP currently sits at 0.8136 and might be moving to the upside even more during the week. I hope you're all ready to witness these massive price movements. That aside, let's roll that beautiful intro and jump right into today's video. As always, welcome back to MoneySide, your favorite crypto news channel. If you are new here, welcome to the XRP family. Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications, that way you don't miss out on our daily crypto news updates. Now back to today's topic, we'll rev the engines with this tweet from XRP is our future that says, to all those XRP holders who have held on for a little and feel like it's not going to happen, I've had it since 2013, and the end game is 2030. Know what you hold. 17-year HODL plan for generational wealth. The question is, why are you guys here? Just to be rich, or do you actually have prospects for generational wealth? I mean, everyone definitely has their own plans and strategies, but if you signed up for this to achieve generational wealth, you ought to be a little patient. This takes time, so it needs a lot of patience and resilience. Moving ahead, we have this tweet from jblessed901 that says, if someone says their exit strategy is at $10, you can't judge them then because they might have 10,000 or 100,000 times more than you. Stay in your lane. And what this guy right here is saying absolutely makes sense. Basically, what I will tell you is that you have to make your own individual strategies. I think that way, every person knows what they are here for. One person could be here for $5 while another probably is looking at 100 or 1,000. I know most people will sell their holdings at these price ranges, but probably hold the more significant part of their bag for the bigger fish. We have yet another tweet here from Amerbanker that says, Ripple's blueprint to modernize Europe's payments infrastructure. Let's see what's in this article that they shared. We have the headline there that says, Ripple's blueprint to modernize Europe's payments infrastructure. To build a proper cross-border payment network, the financial services industry must move beyond what's already in place, according to Cindy Young, the new London-based managing director for Ripple in Europe. The challenges with today's underlying payments and banking infrastructure are widespread and centered around outdated technologies that are slow to transact, incur high fees, lack transparency, Young said. Young will be charged with championing the expansion of the firm's blockchain-based RippleNet network among European Union institutions. In a recent interview, Young discussed how distributed ledgers can help banks overcome legacy payment processing, the potential for open banking in Europe and elsewhere to expand faster payments and liquidity for small businesses, and why she thinks banks that don't have a strategy for crypto are in trouble. In this article, they talk about the outdated technologies that Ripple systems need to replace. And I have a good feeling here they are talking about SWIFT. And on the other hand, Bitcoin incurs high transaction fees. From that, we can tell they are looking for something like XRP to replace all these outdated technologies. As we keep saying, we are headed into a new digital era. And so many changes will need to be made for the new financial world. Now up next, we have this tweet shared by Bitcoin News. It says, Nakamoto's innovation is real. Further, it has been and could continue to be a catalyst for change in the fields of finance and money. Satoshi Bitcoin Cryptocurrency. They further share an article and the headline reads, SEC Chairman says Satoshi Nakamoto's innovation is real. Crypto rules are clear. Let's quickly look at this article and see what Gary Gensler says about the Satoshi Nakamoto innovation. The U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission SEC Chairman Gary Gensler says that Satoshi Nakamoto's innovation is real. It has been and could continue to be a catalyst for change in the fields of finance and money. He said, Satoshi Nakamoto's innovation is real. Chairman Gensler talked about Bitcoin and cryptocurrency regulation last week at the Aspen Security Forum, where he outlined his plans to regulate the crypto space. He began by referencing the Bitcoin white paper and its creator, the pseudonymous Satoshi Nakamoto. His innovation spurred the development of crypto assets and the underlying blockchain technology, Gensler said about Satoshi, adding that the crypto asset class has ballooned and is now worth about $1.83 trillion. Noting that when he was at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT, prior to being confirmed as the head of the SEC, 
He researched, wrote, and taught on the subject of Bitcoin, cryptocurrency, and blockchain technology. Gensler opined, in that work, I came to believe that though there was a lot of hype masquerading as reality in the crypto field, Nakamoto's innovation is real. Further, it has been and could continue to be a catalyst for change in the fields of finance and money. Unlike fiat money, Gensler said that at its core, Nakamoto was trying to create a private form of money with no central intermediary, such as a central bank or commercial bank. However, he believes that currently no single crypto asset, though broadly fulfills all the functions of money. The chairman elaborated that crypto assets are highly speculative stores of value, asserting that they haven't been used much as a unit of account. He further opined, we also haven't seen crypto used much as a medium of exchange. To the extent that it is used as such, it's often to skirt our laws with respect to anti-money laundering, sanctions, and tax collection. It can also enable extortion via ransomware, as we recently saw with Colonial Pipeline. Gensler noted that he is technologically neutral, but emphasized that when it comes to cryptocurrency regulation, I am anything but public policy neutral. He continued, as new technologies come along, we need to be sure we're achieving our core public policy goals. In finance, that's about protecting investors and consumers, guarding against the illicit activity and ensuring financial stability. Meanwhile, the former MIT professor claimed that there is clarity in crypto rules, emphasizing that many tokens are offered and sold as securities. Regarding whether something is a security, he described there's actually a lot of clarity on that front. Certain rules related to crypto assets are well settled. The test to determine whether a crypto asset is a security is clear. However, many people disagree with the SEC chairman that the rules are clear, including Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse, who is currently being sued by the agency over the sale of XRP tokens. The Ripple CEO said, In my judgment, if you're dealing with an alcoholic that doesn't want to admit they have an alcohol problem, to say that we have certainty, we have clarity, is like the alcoholic saying, I don't have a problem. This is the elephant in the room. As we wind up today's video, we've got another tweet here from Bitcoin News. They share another article from news.bitcoin.com, which comes with the headline, U.S. Senator Warren sees benefits of cryptocurrency, but warns a run on crypto may need federal bailout. We'll quickly go over some of the key points in this article, and it says U.S. Senator Elizabeth Warren, a longtime Bitcoin skeptic, has shared her view of the benefits of cryptocurrencies, while noting that the biggest upside to cryptocurrency could be expansion or democratization of access to the financial system. She warned that the crypto industry might need federal bailout if something goes wrong, such as a run on crypto. Senator Elizabeth Warren was asked about what she thought the U.S. cryptocurrency regulation should look like in an interview with Bloomberg last week. If people are going to be out there trading it, there needs to be a cop on the beat, she began. Because when there's not a cop on the beat in any market, then it's the small traders who get cheated. And that's what always worries me. The senator from Massachusetts continued, this is about putting some basic rules in place so that anyone can trade with just some basic confidence that the biggest kinds of scams will have a cop on the beat to blow the whistle and put a stop to it. Senator Warren has been a longtime Bitcoin skeptic. In May, she bashed cryptocurrencies, citing environmental impacts and investor protection. She also agreed with Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen that cryptocurrencies are primarily used in illicit financing. Recently, Senator Warren has been pressing for regulation of the crypto sector. She has urged Yellen to adopt a policy to mitigate crypto's risks quickly. She also asked the chairman of the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, the SEC, Gary Gensler, to urgently come up with a policy on crypto and for the SEC to use its full authority to regulate cryptocurrency trading. All right, time now to take a look at the price action of XRP. Guys, we are now looking at the daily chart. XRP has been battling with the 200 daily MA and has shown strength in the short term. Its structure is quite similar to what we have seen with July 2020 XRP rally, where XRP rallied to 200 DMA, got rejected, came back down the range without breaching the previous low, consolidated there and went straight to it again and failed to close above it. And next day candle following it came back down, which was followed by a breakout in the XRP price chart. XRP has played out quite similarly till now. 
Is it going to break this time also? Or some more consolidation is required? My personal opinion is it will break this level this week without requiring much consolidation. Looking at the possible moves to the upside in case of a breakout, it can retrace anywhere between 0.618 to 0.893. It's hard to pick tops, especially in XRP. As always, trade with care, guys. Please keep in mind we're not a licensed financial advisor. All the videos on this channel are intended for entertainment purposes only. Please take a second and let me know what you think in the comment section below and let's have a conversation. I thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like this video and click on that subscribe button below. Turn on notifications so you get informed whenever we post our amazing content. Thanks again and we'll see you in the next video.